What do you do if you're a farmer and you're dealing with the worst drought in more than 1,200 years? Well, a lot of people are hiring this guy. I'm Itai Ha just outside Fresno with why water witches are back in vogue. Like, that's pretty good. Standing in the middle of a 400-acre ranch, Rob Thompson pulls out two L-shaped rods and holds them perpendicular to the ground. What I'm doing is I'm uh, grounding, kind of like rebooting the computer. Then he lifts them up and begins to rotate, waiting for them to cross. See in that direction, there's some water that way. Rob is a water witch who says he can find underground reservoirs and can even tell you 20, 30. how far to drill. It's like the energy between two magnets when they just pull you together. Water witching, also known as dowsing or divining, dates back to the Middle Ages. The American Society of Dowsers, which has about 2,000 members, says many of them are working water witches. And while there's no science to back any of this up, it hasn't stopped many of California's top farmers from shelling out big bucks for their services. A lot of people laugh at me. It's funny, until they call me. Rob charges $1,500. So far, this has been his busiest year yet, as California faces a crippling drought. Today, he's been hired to find underground wells in a plum ranch right outside Fresno. If we don't find water, uh, you know, today, uh, this season is going to be some hard decisions. Mike Matters is the ranch manager. He says he, too, was skeptical at first until a few years ago when someone suggested hiring a water witch. He marked 17 wells for us and 15 of them actually are still running today. So he made a believer out of me. By the end of the day, Rob identifies 12 potential reservoirs. He'll know exactly how much water he found when the ranch starts drilling. But Rob isn't worried. Over the years, he says he's found about 5,000 wells, all thanks to his sixth sense. I get a gift. I'm, I'm, I'm very fortunate. Finding hidden water deep in the ground by tapping into his own well of mystical energy.